What's going on, fellas? So, it's time to take the bike apart again, clean the carbs again, because I realized that fuel filter that's designed as a replacement is trash. It's not the best. It's designed for fuel of yesteryear, 1992,000. We're 23 years past that. Shout out to my neighbor for doing what they're doing right when I came outside to film. We're gonna try this again. All right, fellas, so, like I said before, my neighbor did what they were doing. You see, we've got the Canadian fuel line filter. It is clear. This is uh, metal housing and glass. Now, as you see what's going on, and you see these are very fine mesh screens. I have replacements. And it should allow me to see that particular buildup and be caught as opposed to a cheaper filter replacement that you get from Amazon or even from some of the more renowned manufacturers, or I should say bike resellers like Unicycle Gear. Or Revzilla, they have this it's pretty much the same filter, so this should help keep the car from getting clogged up because we're in kind of a weird position. Shout to the car, we're in a weird position. We want to do the head change and go to fuel injection, but that's going to be head, throttle bodies, intake, sub harness, ECU, etc. etc. and that's going to give you a lot of money and time. And I want to ride. So we know the carbs will work. They just need the pilot jets cleaned out. So without further ado, just take the cover off, take the fairings off, take the tank off, and get back to work. Time for a time lapse. <laughs> Eight mil for the front of the fuel tank. Twelve mil for the rear. Super long screwdriver. Link is in the description. Back to the carburetors. Uh, now you most definitely won't need this. You have to go through the slits on the side to loose them on each side. I should say reliefs, probably called reliefs. Back to speeding up. So this one's not locked into a slot. The last one it wasn't locked into a slot. They have the boots have nubs on them. The collars have holes in them that the nubs also lock into and keep it from sliding on me. So it's not locked in. Take this off. Vacuum lines. Pop this up. Now, the way I'm going to pop this up is very archaic. I don't know a better way of taking off carburetors. Uh, trying to rock it back and forth doesn't always work. I'm gonna see it all the way down. No, 
Oh, my baby, you The problem is they don't like to rock from the front. I was trying to eat off my, that damn horse fly trying to eat off my damn skate. Nah. Nah, I got something for that ass. All right. I'm gonna buy another one of these. I don't really use it, but you know, I'll have it. So, this part I don't recommend you do unless you have everything disconnected. And you're also willing to live with the consequences of your actions. In the winter time, that'd be much harder to do when it's cold and you're likely to break something. It's summer, so let's go. Back to sped up the footage. There we go. Hi, fellas, ladies. Space gas on me. Yay. Uh, I got plugged in these holes and then be back for part two. Peace.